Hey, what's up, family? Hey, today I got a video that's gonna kind of touch a nerve just a little bit to lots of people out there that can identify with what I'm talking about. And that subject is also gonna be the title of the video, which is gonna be titled Sabotage. Now, as always, you know I love to give y'all a word of the, day, of the day. So the word of the day is also gonna be the title of this video, Sabotage. But if you look up the word sabotage, it simply means to damage or destroy something or someone in the event to prevent them from success. Now, y'all understand what I'm talking about because we have all dealt with family and friends to some degree where they, their efforts has always came up short. Every time something was happening or needed to be done, they, their efforts always came up short. And even when you address that person, they always had excuses why their efforts came up short. But the truth of the matter is, they were sabotaging you. But the, but the even real problem is within yourselves. Because these very people that are sabotaging you, a lot of times are the very people right up under your nose and right in your circle. But it's hard for you to accept and really believe that your very own siblings, you know, your brother, your sister, your auntie, your uncle, whoever it may be, it's hard to accept, nah, not my brother, not my sister. Or in another event, your home girl that you grew up for 20, 30 years, your homeboy, who y'all got history going way back to high school or further. It's hard, it's really hard for you to accept and believe Nah, not that person. They would never sabotage me. Well, let me give you the answer to that. To stir you, help you think differently. Because as you are finding it hard to believe that they will ever sabotage you, just do the numbers. This is a saying I live by and I've been saying for the longest. I've said it in many of my videos. People lie, history lie, because we know whoever's the victor writes the history. Whoever the victor, they destroy all the old books and they say, now we're going to rewrite it for my regime. So, People lie, history lie, but one thing that don't lie is numbers. We all know one plus one equals two, right? Numbers don't lie. So when I bring up that issue, all I'm telling you is do the math. You said it's hard for you to believe that your sibling, your friend, your boy, your girl wouldn't, wouldn't do you, wouldn't sabotage you. Okay, do the numbers. When you had that event that you was trying to do and you asked your sibling or your homie to help you out did they help you out like they said it was or did they let you down okay these things happen sometimes okay how about the next time you had an event your baby shower they let you down for that too right how about the next time your son or your daughter had a game and they were supposed to show up and they had an excuse for that too right how about when you threw a party for someone uh, you was you had to be driven to the airport. You had to get that job. You had to go to that doctor appointment. I don't care what it is. You was trying to get that business of yours off the ground, and you needed their help. Every single time, they their efforts came up short. But you always made an excuse for them, never thinking. Yes, they were sabotaging your plans all along. But like I said. It's hard for you to believe because you don't want to believe. Nah, not my sibling, not my brother, not my sister. Yo, not my boy, not my girl. Man, we got history. Nah, we talk all the time. Yeah, them. Check this out. I like to get y'all a movie every now and then to equate with my story. You remember the old movie Bodyguard with Whitney Houston and Kevin Costner? Remember that movie? Remember in the movie, she had a stalker that was threatening her life. And remember when they got all the private investigators and all that, they found that one crazy guy. Yeah, he was a, a fan. And as he said, her number one fan. He had all of her pictures in her locker room and all that. But he was not a threat at all. He was just a, a weird old fan. That's all it was. But the real threat and all the dangers that was coming to her, when they found out who that real threat was that was sabotaging her concerts, making her get stressed out, sabotaging her life and everything, Remember? Y'all remember the movie? When they found out who it really was, it was her very own sister. Remember that? It was a good movie. 
But we all learned the lesson in that movie, like many other movies or books that we read. The very people that's close to you, we have a tendency to turn a blind eye to. Nah, not, not my sibling, not my sister, my brother. Nah, not my boy. Okay, I'm gonna say it again for y'all. Do the numbers. People lie, history lie. Numbers don't lie. They all add up, two plus two equal four. I don't care in what country you go, wherever you go in the world, it's still the same. Numbers do not lie. Look at every single time you had a deal with this person, their efforts always came up short. Am I lying? Just do the math. I know it's hard for you to accept the fact, wow, I've been really turning a blind eye to this person. Yes, you have. Because you don't want to believe not that person. But like I said again, do the numbers. Numbers don't lie. And we also got to remember also, when speaking about sabotage, because remember, once again, title of the video and the definition, to damage or destroy something or someone with the efforts to prevent them from success. We also got people out here, unfortunately, who sabotage themselves. You know, they don't think they, was, they should have that good job. They don't think they're worthy of a good relationship. They don't think they should be considered important in the family or whatever the case. You know, these are the people, they actually sabotage themselves. Let me give you, you want some analogies, some, some examples? Okay. Let's say a person in a relationship, every time this woman, for example, she keep getting in an abusive relationship. She don't think she's uh, entitled to have a good, healthy relationship. No. So every time she gets with a guy, she keeps getting with a guy who is abusive to her, like her last bunch of other relationships. No, you keep choosing the wrong guy as if you're not worthy of a good guy. You get what I'm saying? So stop sabotaging yourself and then making excuses. That's why I'm with a bad guy. This is all I seem to get. This, so I just tolerate it. No, you should not be tolerating that. Let's move on. I'll give you another example. Let's take that family member. You want to know why every time there's a family event, nobody wants to eat your potato salad. Nobody want to eat your macaroni and cheese, your whatever it is you cook. And you say, ah, oh, they don't want to eat my stuff. They act like they don't like my stuff. You know, I don't care for them too much. Okay. Well, when they gave you the opportunity to cook something, you purposely, as people say, half-ass cooked it. You, put, you didn't put your best efforts forth. You said, oh, I had other things going on. I was watching my show and it burnt a little bit. Or, you know, I put too much of this in. And, you know, another thing I can't stand when someone's cooking something. And then they say, well, it didn't come out right because I didn't have all the stuff to do it. Well, if you didn't have all the stuff to do it, don't do it. See what I mean by sabotaging yourself? See, so now when you bring that dish to the family and now nobody wants to eat it, you got the nerve to say, man, they don't like my stuff. No, because you sabotage yourself by doing a half-ass job slash didn't have all the ingredients to cook it. So why don't you go get all the ingredients or don't do it, but don't make excuses later and say, man, they don't like my stuff. You are sabotaging yourself. I can move, I can make plenty of examples. You think you wasn't worthy of that job. Well, you heard the saying before, ain't nothing greater than having the opportunity but not prepared it's better to be prepared and not have the opportunity opposed to having the opportunity and not being prepared Do I need to say that one more time for y'all so y'all can really get it could you imagine you have an opportunity for a job someone calls you up we got this job here but you didn't prepare meaning you didn't study the company you didn't you you or a lawyer whatever you you a test you got the opportunity to, to get this advancement, but you got to take this small test. You decided not to study. See, you got the opportunity, but you ain't prepared. But there's a great thing to be prepared, and you just don't got the opportunity. But whenever the opportunity presents itself, you ready. You prepared. You more than prepared. See you know what I'm saying? It's unfortunate if you got some people out there in the world like that. They sabotage themselves and they never quite look at it that way. They just think people are hating on them and I don't think I deserve it because they have low self-esteem, their confidence level is down. Well then, why don't you build your self-esteem? Build your confidence. Be around more people that's more uh, positively motivated towards you. 
Understand? But ultimately, in closing, what I would say to any and everybody, don't be so quick to turn a blind eye to that family member or friend who is clearly and have always been sabotaging your efforts to be successful. Because every time you call on them, well, quite often, maybe not every time, maybe they do something good every now and then, but it don't matter if they do something good every now and then. If they got a multitude of times where they fell short of their efforts to help you be successful, like I said, numbers don't lie. People lie, history lie, numbers don't lie. You just gotta open your eyes, and I know it's gonna hurt when you really do the math and you really look at that person, you go, wow, all these years I've been, I've been making excuses for this person, but they have many times let me down and I kept making excuses for them. So all this video is to give awareness to anyone out there. Remember, people lie, history lie, numbers don't lie. Open your eyes. It's sad to say even this statement here, a lot of times as we get older and more mature, you'll tend to realize your so-called friends and some of your family members, the more you dismiss yourself from them, the more happy and successful you're gonna be. Because it doesn't make any sense for you to work hard and achieve success, peace in your life you know, move to a whole nother area in your mind, physically, whatever, right? But you tend to bring baggage from the old place to your new place. You're being silly now. You get what I'm saying? So you don't want that. So remember that. Sabotage. Someone to damage or destroy your efforts to be successful. Open your eyes, folks. Wake up. I know it hurts. But the people that surround you in your circle and even in your family, sometimes you got to cut them off. When they're doing so much damage and you keep turning your blind eye thinking, nah, not them. Yes, it's them. You just keep acting like it's not because you don't want it to be. It hurts to accept the truth that yes, it's this person and it's always been. On that note, peace. Subscribe, share, like, and comment.